Okay, we have now come to the final section of the IMAT, and that is the physics section. Now, physics is probably the least important section in the IMAT. Why? Well, for one, it's only worth four questions, and really, even if you didn't know any physics at all, you could still get an amazing score on the IMAT. Since it's only worth six marks, it's definitely not essential. And that brings me to a very important point about this section. If you have never studied physics before, or if you are terrible at physics, then skip this section. Now, it might seem like strange advice to tell you to skip a section, but remember, you only have 100 minutes to do the IMAT. And doing 60 questions in 100 minutes is pretty difficult for most of us. So you're likely not going to finish all the questions anyway. So missing out on four questions is pretty much going to happen either way. So you might as well save yourself some study time. Now, having said that, if you are good at physics, then don't skip this section, because the level of physics assessed is actually quite basic. Oftentimes, if you just remember the formula and the units that go with the formula, and then you have some idea of how to actually apply the formula, then you will probably get the question right. So really, your decision to do the physics section or not is a personal decision that you have to decide for yourself. But yeah, if you've never studied physics before, then I would definitely recommend skipping it, because even if it is a basic level of physics that they assess, Physics is a big subject. It will take you a long time to learn everything. There are a lot of formulas to remember. And yeah, it's just not worth doing all that, learning an entire subject just for four questions. Now, here we have the syllabus for the physics section. And as you can see, it is quite a lot of stuff. Again, as I said, it is quite basically assessed, but nevertheless, it is a lot to remember. There's a lot of theory to remember, and there are a lot of formulas to remember. And that can be hard to recall when you've only got 100 minutes to actually do a test. Not to mention having to remember all the other stuff for all the other sections. So it is quite basic, but don't underestimate it and think it's going to be a breeze. Now, as I alluded to before, if you can memorize the formulas and the units that go with the formulas and you have some basic practice on applying them, well, then you are very likely going to get the calculation questions correct. And I will cover the high yield stuff in the coming videos. Now, you should also learn a bit of theory because they do ask theory questions as well. So how do you actually study for the physics section? Well, when it comes to the content, there's obviously IMAT Buddy, and then there is online resources. I don't really recommend buying a textbook because, as I said, the content is quite basic and you can learn all of that online. Now, when it comes to studying, basically all you need to do is study the stuff on the syllabus and then do practice questions. Now, I do also recommend using Anki. It's not necessarily important for the theory, but you do need to use it to memorize all the formulas. Like I said, there are quite a few formulas, so Anki is very helpful in this regard. And of course, you want to know your enemy. You want to get good at doing IMAT style questions. And you can find IMAT style questions on IMAT Buddy, and of course, by doing past IMAT papers. And luckily, there's also the BMAT papers, because they have a physics section that is very similar to the IMAT. And that is pretty much all you need to know about the physics section.